Hey, what's going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thank you for taking the time to watch this episode of the channel. Today, we're going to talk about a new technology up and coming. It's going to leave a huge imprint on 5G and really do a good job of enabling really uh, tight integration between different network technologies between 4G LTE and 5G spectrum. So before I get into the content of the video, I do want to give a couple of shout outs. One to the Discord server, two to the patrons over on Patreon. There is uh, links in the description box below if you guys want to check out those communities. And of course, my Twitter handle, handle is also in the description box below as well. Uh, check those links out uh, at any time. Uh, for the content of the video, uh, what we're talking about today is dynamic spectrum sharing. Specifically, let's talk about Verizon because they're the ones in the news uh, making the action happen. So this DSS technology is what Verizon is going to be using to do a lot of the network integration between their 5G and LTE spectrum. So Verizon, in partnership with Ericsson and Qualcomm, has completed a proof of concept DSS session in which what they did was they took the DSS technology, which allows for 5G to be run on multiple spectrum bands. And this, of course, includes LTE technology uh, with 5G technologies. Uh, the testing was completed in lab. I guess the location was in Texas, if that's important. It was complete. It was the completion of a data call. I think what they've got to do next in terms of testing is go ahead and do some actual connectivity sessions where they're doing you know, high data consumption tasks like video and things of that nature. Uh, but it's good to see that they started with the video call or with the data call. Uh, Ericsson has provided the actual DSS technologies. And of course, it's the, uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon processors that are uh, the modems that are being used in the devices. So what this is going to allow uh, Verizon and other carriers to do, because they're all going to be utilizing it, it allows for a super efficient instant connectivity and sharing of spectrum between LT bands as well as 5G bands. So it's only going to be taking, from what I understand, just a few milliseconds. So it is going to be instantaneous and there's not going to be any lag or delay or a situation where you kind of have these hiccups, which appears to be an issue currently with what Verizon is seeing with millimeter wave and LT handoff. So the tech is compatible with all FDD 5G technologies, hardware and smartphones. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 5G devices that are in use currently are the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 and 855 Plus. Uh, the tech will actually be available starting in 2020. So this time next year, we'll definitely be talking about DSS and its effect in this and how great it is and its awesome performance. Uh, why is this so critical to Verizon? Why is Verizon jumping so far ahead with this? It's really, really important you guys know this. Verizon wants to go all in on millimeter wave. They are not doing anything with mid-band or low-band from what they're explaining to people. If that is to be believed and that is the case, they've got to go all in on millimeter wave. And what that means is that they're going to be utilizing their pre-existing LTE bands, both low and mid. And they're going to be keeping customers connected to 5G through both different technology types. So that means millimeter wave 5G, and when customers start to pull away from millimeter wave, we all know it has limited connection and limited range, they're going to remain connected even with 4G LTE bands. So uh, it's really crazy because I always thought Verizon was going to get on a milli not just get on millimeter wave, but also on mid band. And the low band, maybe not, but the mid band at least. And like you think about 2020. There's tons and tons of C-band, CBRS. Uh, there's all this mid-band that's going to be available starting next year in these auctions. And it looks like Verizon is all in on DSS and using what they have and not getting in on any of this mid-band. It's really interesting to see that approach. We'll see how effective it is. This is just an update to show you guys what Verizon is doing with DSS and what DSS can do in the future with this technology between pre-existing LTE and soon to be deployed 5G. What say you? You guys let me know what you think of what Verizon is doing. Let me know what you think of this DSS technology. Maybe there's other things that I missed that I didn't mention that are important to the tech. You guys can kind of fill me in on that. Go ahead and hit me in the with the discussion down in the comments section. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it, as well as your input on the technologies. 
If you like this video and you appreciate it and you found it informative, go ahead and hit that like button for me. Share it to your favorite social media platform. I don't know, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, Snapchat, who cares? Share it for me. Do me a solid there. I appreciate that greatly. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from the SMT. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I am the SMT, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.